Scott, where are we headed right now? We're heading to Sane's Castle, aka Devil's Castle, in Crestline, California. And this location was brought to my attention by Ted Gunderson, ex head of the FBI of LA and Dallas in the 50s, the 70s, I believe. In his hour discussion on the Illuminati and Satanism in America, he addressed that there was indeed a place in Crestline, California where this ritualistic uh, magic takes place. We all know from Bohemian Grove in Montecito, California that these places do indeed exist, so I thought I would come see for myself what this place has to offer. Is it real? Does it have anything to do with Satanism? We gotta be kind of stealth about getting in there. Uh, we're gonna park a little ways down the road from the castle because we don't want people to see our car out front. There it is. So we notice a new door, these lights up here are kept. They have obviously new shields, new bulbs, recent technology. The light sensor easily from the 90s. Bulbs look good, new door. Uh, oh, this is brand new, this light. It's being kept here. Storage area, maybe? Well, we're definitely not finding obvious things of Satanism here. Maybe rituals do still take place, and they're just possibly, I'm guessing, maybe underground, because that building is not very huge. And there's rumors of tunnels being around here. And maybe we'll be lucky enough to find entrance to a tunnel. So if you can imagine from these walls, this was entirely enclosed. And this open wall, can you think of a better spot to carry out your ritual other than the rim of the world? So I think the fascinating thing we found here is not clearly stated as Satanism, but if it was indeed a place that still might be in use, it's behind that locked door and underground. And maybe this guy who lives next door is still the keeper of the sacred land. I don't know. But I think we found more questions than answers here today. safe to assume the foundation extending from the tower was definitely part of the same building from the same architectural style. Now when did the division of new housing come about? That'd be a great great thing to look into, we'll follow up on. When that house was built, and we'll have a clearer picture of maybe when this tower actually ceased to exist. And who owned it? Found some writing on, I'm assuming, the old terracotta roof. 
I'm not sure what it says. San Bali. It almost looks like a mixture of English and Hebrew, but it's probably just a story. San Bal something. I can get my hands under it. That doesn't mean there's not a tunnel. I have a hole in this suit. Also, I'm scared of snakes popping out. <laughs> Would not want to see a snake right now. No, sir. The question is, is this thing just a piece of metal stuck in the ground, or is it actually hiding something? It's so buried. I honestly think it's just a door. So we're down here at the base of the structure right now. There's some beams that are burned, which reinforces the story that there was a structure here that burned down uh, quite a while ago in 1920s, 1930s. But other than that, except for some beams, there's some bottles, uh, some tiles, but that's really it. Nothing substantial that gives us a clue as to who owned the place or what it's used for now. So we've toured the property quite extensively. I have not found any conclusive evidence on satanic worship but I will say the significance of this property falls very close in line with the story of the devil and Jesus on the top of the mountain where the devil asked Jesus to bow down before him and he would give him the world well I can't think of a better place to exemplify that than literally being on the rim of the world <laughs> <laughs> 